Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 3. In the first part of this module, we are doing numerical differentiation. In lecture 3.1, we considered how to compute f dash of x for a given function. In this particular module, we are going to go forward and take one example which is of a practical nature as well as for a single variable problem find higher derivatives. Specifically, we are just going to look at f double dash of x for a couple of example problems. So in the previous lecture, we have seen how to compute the first derivative. Now instead, if we want to compute the second derivative using central difference formula, we get f double dash of x is f of x plus h minus 2 f x plus f of x minus h divided by h squared. Instead of writing x plus h, x and x minus h, I have given subscripts i plus 1, i and i minus 1. This central difference formula, just as we had seen in the previous lecture, is h to the power 2 accurate. You recall in the previous lecture, f dash of x was given as f of x i plus 1 minus f x i minus 1 whole thing divided by 2 h. That was the first difference, your first derivative using the central difference formula. This is the formula for the second derivative, this is the formula for the third derivative and so on and so forth we can compute formulae for higher derivatives. Uh, over here this should be h cubed and not h squared. In this lecture we are only going to concern ourselves with the second derivative over here. So let's look at the problem again f of x equal to tan inverse of x and let's compute f double dash of x. Okay, let's go on to MATLAB and we wanted to find f double dash of x at x equal to a and a is 1. Let's say h was 1e minus 4. Okay, so we wanted to compute f double dash of tan inverse. f double dash is given by this particular formula. So true val equal to 2 multiplied by a divided by 1 plus a squared the whole squared negative of that and I will just put a negative sign. This is what our true val is. So true val is minus 0 0.5. Let us compute the numerical derivative using the formula given over here that is a plus h minus 2 f a plus f of a minus h divided by h squared. f is nothing but a tan. So, num diff equal to a tan of a plus h minus 2 times a tan of a minus 2 times a tan of a plus a tan of a minus h. a minus h. Let's put this all in brackets divided by h squared. That's going to be our num diff and num diff is approximately uh, equal to zero, minus 0 0.5. The error between the difference between true val and num diff is abs val of sorry abs of true val minus num diff. Okay, and the error is of the order of 1.4 into 10 to the power minus 8. Okay, so now that we have considered f double dash of x for tan inverse of x, let's go on to the next example. This example was taken from the computational techniques uh, course module 6 part 2. For this f of x was 2 minus x plus ln x. Uh, what we are going to do? today is to find f dash x and f double dash x for this particular function using central derivatives. Uh, I recommend what you may probably do at this stage if you have not already tried to solve this particular problem from the previous lecture is perhaps you can pause this lecture and take a few minutes in order to try solving f dash of x and f double dash of x for this particular example. 
uh, you may probably do it for just one value of step size h. Let's say you take h equal to 10 to the power minus 4 and try to solve this problem. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll give you the solution for this problem in MATLAB as well. Okay. I have cleared the screen. Let's say edit numdiff2 numerical differentiation for the second problem. 2 minus x plus ln x. Okay, a e. Uh, let's say we wanted to find this at. Uh, uh, let's perhaps say that we want wanted to compute this again at x at a equal to one. And h equal to one e minus four. Okay. F of f a f1 let's say with we call f of x plus h as f1 f of x equal to f2 and f of x minus h equal to f3 so that's going to be 2 minus a sorry 2 minus a plus h in fact let's write it this way x equal to a plus h f1 equal to 2 minus x plus log of x okay and we copy paste okay x equal to a and f2 equal to this x equal to a minus h and f3 equal to this Well, well, one let's call this for f dash, and that is going to be one by x minus one, so one by a minus one. Well, two is minus one by a squared. Okay, so this is what we need for numerical derivatives. Uh, num diff 1 is nothing but yeah so f dash of x was f1 minus f3 divided by 2h f1 minus f3 divided by 2 multiplied by h <coughs> num diff 2 was f1 minus 2 f2 plus f3 f1 minus 2 multiplied by f2 plus f3 divided by h squared that's our number of 2 err1 equal to a abs of proval1 minus number of 1 Actually, rather than saying num diff, we will call this as num val. Okay, press shift and enter so all the values will get changed and num val 2. So that's error 1 and err 2 equal to abs rural 1 minus sorry rural 2 minus num val 2. Okay, let's save this and run this. Okay, so we will get ERR1 is 3 into 10 to the power minus 9, ERR2 is 5 into 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, if we check numval1, that is 3 into 10 to the power minus 9, when we expect proval1 as 0, numval2 is minus 1. We are expecting proval also to be sorry proval 2 also to be equal to minus 1 okay so as we can see that the errors using central difference formula are for h equal to 10 to the power minus 4 are fairly small okay 
Okay, so now that we have com completed the numerical differentiation for the second example 2 minus x plus ln x, let's now head on over and look at a practical problem, a problem of practical interest. This comes from chemistry as you all know that the rate of reaction can be written in the Arrhenius form given over here. So rate r is k multiplied by e to the power minus e by rt multiplied by concentration to the power 1.25. The rate constant k is equal to 1000 and e by r equal to 2500. Let's go on to MATLAB and try to solve this problem. And edit reaction rate dif differentiation. R equal to K multiplied by E to the power minus E by RP multiplied by C to the power 1.25. Okay. Constants K equal to and E by R equal to. So K was 1000 and E by R is 2500. Okay. Differentiation. Do this at C equal to 1.0 and T equal to 600. Right. Okay. So now the analytical derivative for this guy. Okay. So temperature is the thing that is varying. So, because it's e to the power minus e by rt, it's basically going to be e by rt squared, okay, multiplied by the rate r itself. So, let's first calculate the rate r equal to k multiplied by exp minus e by r divided by t multiplied by c to the power 1.25. That's the rate true value is just going to be equal to r multiplied by e by r divided by t squared. That's our true value. Okay. Now, then for the numerical differentiation, we want to calculate r1 and r1 is going to be nothing but k multiplied by e to the power this guy. But instead of t, we will have t plus h. Okay. So, let's just copy this. Okay. and we will put t plus h over here using central difference formula. Let's copy and paste this over here and r2 is going to be this but it's going to be t minus h okay. and numval is going to be equal to nothing but r2 minus sorry r1 minus r2 divided by 2 multiplied by h. Now the question is what is the value of h that we need to take. So h let's just take that as we have been doing this before let's just take h equal to 1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4. Okay and error is going to be equal to abs true val minus num val. Let's save and run this problem and we hope that there is no error and this runs and the, the error that is the difference between uh, the true val and num val is 4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 11. The true, true val is 0 0.1077 and num val will also look same 0 0.1077. So that completes our exercise of finding dr by dt at t equal to 600 kelvins using the central different formula where r is the rate of chemical reaction of the Arrhenius form. What you can try to do is see the effect of other values of h, how increasing or decreasing the value of h changes the uh, errors in dr by dt. 
we had seen in the previous lecture that the optimal value of h is machine precision to the power 1 by 3 for central difference formula for f dash of x. The machine precision to the power 1 by 3 is when the overall temperature or x, the independent variable is of the order 1. If the independent variable is of a different order, the optimal value of h changes accordingly. Prior to looking at this example, we looked at the other example 2 minus x plus ln x and computed f dash of x as well as f double dash of x. For central difference formula of f dash of x, the optimum value of h happens to be uh, epsilon to the power 1 by 3 whereas for the second de derivative central difference formula, the optimal value of h is epsilon to the power 1 by 4. This is also something that you can probably verify as a practice problem. In the next lecture, we are going to revisit this physical example of this rate of reaction. With this, I come to the end of lecture 3.2 and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you and goodbye.